<laughs> I love that he <laughs> calls it out. That's I, that might be the best that takeaway from this. Hey, what's going on? Derek Hagen here. I'm a meaning in life expert, which means I spend a lot of my life thinking about what makes life worth living for me and, and everybody else. Uh, and this is where I talk about all the components of meaning, purpose, sources of meaning, stories we tell ourselves, beliefs, personal values, resilience, mindfulness. In my professional life, I use that and explore money's role in a meaningful life. If that's interesting to you, you can check out meaning.blog. Here, checking out Oliver Anthony again. We're, today, we're going to check out uh, Feeling Pretty Good. Let's get right in. I've been thinking. Okay, already. This looks, again, like he's playing lefty. In other videos, I'm pretty sure he's playing righty. But I think it's the same guitar, and I can't tell... Well, no, if it... So this could be just a mirror image. Maybe that's what it is. So he is playing righty, but the camera's flipped. I've been thinking Mr. Hankin is wrecking my health. I've been thinking this drinking is wrecking my health. Awareness is the first key. Uh, so... So far, so good. I reckon that's better than killing myself. Jesus. Okay, well, I, I would say so too. Uh, at least in the short run. In the long run, some people might argue you're still killing yourself with, with booze. I've been thinking that this drinking's wrecking my health, but that's better than killing myself. So he's weighing the, the lesser of two evils here. It's been a long, hard ride right down to the bottom. But I sing down to... It's been a long, hard ride right down to the bottom. It's been a hard ride down to the bottom. I sing the blues cause the Lord knows I have got them. I sing the blues because Lord knows I got him. I, I thought so. Like, I assigned him in a different video. I, I kind of thought, is this a mixture of blues and bluegrass? Bluesgrass? I don't know what that would be called. But I've been feeling pretty good. Doing all right. Got a pretty woman coming over tonight. And I reckon it things are going to be all right when the morning comes. Good. So, despite that, truth been told, it's all just souls trying not to get so you never grow up, you just grow old long way. I've been feeling pretty good today. But good, so he's finding some optimism, some hope. I love this guitar playing. This anxiety and depression. Lord has left me second guessing every anxiety and depression. Uh, often these two um, I hate the word disorder because they're not always clinical, but these two issues that people have are often used together and sometimes they're used synonymously but i would say and this is uh, psycholo psychologists would probably challenge me on this but the easy or fast way back of the envelope way to think about this is depression is looking back looking back into the past and being overly sad about things that have happened in my position in life and, and probably how i got here Maybe I did some things, it was my fault, or maybe somebody else did something to get me here, but I'm, I'm depressed about the past. Not really so much looking about the future. I might have a depressed outlook on the future, but it's, it's, I'm feeling like down, like there's a weight on my chest. Anxiety often is forward-looking, it's future-looking. I'm worried. So, so 
worry, and then the jacked up version of worry would be anxiety, and then sadness, the jacked up version of sadness would be depression. So I'm worried about what's going to happen in the future. I'm worried that things might not work out. I'm worried that I'm not good enough. I'm worried that I'm going to do a bad job. So that's anxiety. So if you've got both, you're both sad about the past and worried about the future at the same time. Damn thing I ever gave a damn about. It feels like a work all week. My check is spent on bills and beer and the government. Lord, it ain't. <laughs> you hated the government. <laughs> My check is spent on bills and beer and the government. Yeah, the government, your taxes come up first. You gotta pay your bills and he's spending what's left over on some beer to, to drown him out of his sorrows. Much that an old boy can do. But I've been feeling pretty good. A doing all right. Got a pretty woman coming over tonight. And I reckon that things are gonna be alright when the morning comes. I hate to tell you if the truth been told It's all just souls trying not to get so You never grow up Souls trying not to get so We're all just trying not to get sold? Just grow old along the way. You never grow up, you just grow I've old. I've been feeling pretty good. I kind of like that line. Today. Okay, good. Feeling pretty good today. Despite all these things, I can find, I can find gratitude for today. Dogs just have to be a part of it. <laughs> I heard them. I was going to watch them. <laughs> Listen to them howling. <laughs> so I, lo <laughs> I love that he <laughs> calls it out. That's I, That might be the best, best takeaway from this is whatever happens, it happens. You know, um, some people... I've seen this a lot. I've experienced this a lot with myself. I'll do a video, a uh, reaction video, putting together an online course, doing a presentation, and I do something wrong. I drop the pointer. I, I drop something. And it's like, uh-oh, I just screwed this whole thing up. But if you can do like Oliver Anthony just did here and say, well, I'm going to accept whatever just happened, then I can turn it into humor and say, man, those dogs, they can't even, they can't leave me alone. Or if I drop the pen, I can say, oh, it's okay. Nobody got hurt. This happens all the time. You can own the mistakes that happen in your life. And, and you can use those, comedically or otherwise. So, anyway, uh, what else should we be checking up? Let me know, and I will see you next time.